In a world where dreams shape reality, Clint Walker, the actor, stood tall, turning aspirations into tangible achievements. His journey resonates with determination and success. Clint Walker is a legendary actor known for his work in movies and TV shows. He gained fame for his role in the popular series Cheyenne in the 1950s and 60s. Among his many legendary works, which one do you believe defined his career? Clint Walker's enduring qualities, such as his strong screen presence and rugged good looks, have made him an everlasting symbol of the industry. What enduring qualities do you think makes him stand out? We would love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. Do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to Clint Walker? Share it with us in the comments below. Stay tuned as we share some funny, shocking, and sad facts about Clint Walker. Keep watching this video to learn more about this legendary actor. Clint Walker, born Norman Eugene Walker in 1927, grew up in a small town in Illinois. His father worked as a bartender, and his mother was a housewife. As a young boy, Walker's family moved to California due to his mother's health issues. It was there that he was first exposed to the world of acting. Walker's towering height and muscular build caught the attention of a talent scout while he was working as a doorman at a nightclub in Los Angeles. This encounter led to his first acting role in the TV series Cheyenne in 1955. One of the key influences in Walker's acting career was his mentor, director Gordon Douglas. Douglas saw potential in Walker and cast him in the lead role in the 1956 film The Ten Commandments. Walker has credited Douglas for teaching him the fundamentals of acting and helping him to develop his craft. Another significant influence on Walker was actor John Wayne. Walker has spoken about how he admired Wayne's strong and silent screen persona and how it inspired him to develop his own unique acting style. Walker's upbringing and early experiences played a crucial role in shaping his career as an actor. His exposure to the world of acting in California, his mentorship under Gordon Douglas, and his admiration for John Wayne all contributed to his success in the industry. Clint Walker, born Norman Eugene Walker on May 30, 1927, in Hartford, Illinois, grew up during the Great Depression. His parents, Gladys Hewlett and Paul Arnold Walkers, divorced when he was young, and he was raised by his mother and stepfather. At the age of 17, Clint moved to California to pursue a career in the entertainment industry. Before becoming an actor, Clint worked various jobs, including being a doorman, bouncer, and forest firefighter. He also served in the United States Merchant Marine during World War II. These early life experiences helped shape his tough and rugged image. Clint's big break came when he was discovered by a talent scout while working as a security guard at a Hollywood nightclub. He was soon cast in the lead role of Cheyenne Bodie in the popular television series Cheyenne, which aired from 1955 to 1963. The show's success launched Clint's career as a leading man in Western films. Throughout his career, Clint appeared in numerous films, including The Ten Commandments, None But the Brave, and The Dirty Dozen. He was known for his imposing physique and deep voice, which made him a natural fit for Western roles. Despite his success, Clint remained humble and grounded. He was married twice and had four children. In his free time, he enjoyed fishing, hunting, and playing the guitar. Clint Walker's career spanned over six decades, and he remains a beloved figure in the Western genre. His early life experiences and hard work helped him become a successful actor and a true Western icon. Clint Walker, a true American actor, discovered his passion for acting during his time in the Merchant Marine. After an honorable discharge, he decided to try his luck in Hollywood. In an interview, Walker shared that he was working as a doorman at a nightclub when actor Rod Cameron noticed him and suggested that he try acting. Inspired, Walker took Cameron's advice and began taking acting classes. Walker's big break came when he was cast as Cheyenne Bodie in the popular TV series Cheyenne, which aired from 1955 to 1963. The show's success solidified Walker's place in Hollywood and ignited his passion for acting. Walker's towering height and rugged good looks made him a natural fit for westerns, but he also proved his versatility in other genres, such as comedy and adventure. Throughout his career, Walker remained humble and grateful for the opportunities that came his way. He often spoke about the joy he found in his work and the thrill of bringing characters to life on screen. Walker's passion for acting was evident in every role he played, 
and his legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors today. Clint Walker's twin sister, Neoma L. Lucy Westbrook, passed away in 2000 at the age of 73. In the 1950s, Walker became known for his role as Cheyenne Bodie in the TV show Cheyenne. However, he had a contract dispute with Warner Brothers, which led to a brief departure. The dispute centered around his personal appearance fees and music recordings, which had to be done under the Warner Brothers label. Walker wanted a better deal and the freedom to sign with any record company. After reaching an agreement, he returned to the show. Apart from Cheyenne, Walker also appeared in the film The Dirty Dozen. In this movie, he played the role of Samson Posey, a merchant marine. Interestingly, many of the actors in The Dirty Dozen had served in World War II, including Walker. The cast included Lee Marvin in the Marines, Telly Savalas in the Army, Charles Bronson in the Army, Ernest Borgnine in the Navy, Robert Ryan in the Marines, and George Kennedy in the Army. Clint Walker, the tall and ruggedly handsome actor, faced many challenges on his journey to stardom. Born in 1927, in a small town in Illinois, Walker's family struggled financially during the Great Depression. As a young man, he worked odd jobs to make ends meet, from being a dishwasher to a lumberjack. When Walker decided to pursue acting, he encountered skepticism from the industry due to his lack of experience. However, he didn't let that stop him. He took acting classes and worked hard to perfect his craft. Walker's determination paid off when he was discovered by a talent scout while working as a doorman in a nightclub. One of the biggest obstacles Walker faced was his height. Standing at 6 feet 6 inches tall, he was often too tall for leading roles in films. But he found a creative solution by often being cast in westerns where his height was an asset. Walker's breakout role came in 1955 when he starred as Cheyenne Bodie in the TV series Cheyenne, which ran for seven seasons. Walker's resilience and hard work earned him respect and admiration from his peers and fans alike. He became a symbol of the classic Western hero, and his legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors today. Walker's story is a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of believing in oneself, even in the face of adversity. Clint Walker, known for his roles in Sam Whiskey, Cheyenne, and Small Soldiers, experienced the loss of two of his contemporaries, Burt Reynolds and Clint Eastwood, in 2018. In the television show Cheyenne, Walker played the character Cheyenne Bodie, often appearing shirtless, showcasing his muscular physique, except in the final season. Walker's final film appearance was in Small Soldiers, where he provided a voiceover. His career spanned various genres, leaving a lasting impact on the industry. Clint Walker, standing at 6 feet 6 inches tall, gained fame in the 1950s for his role as Cheyenne Bodie in the TV series Cheyenne. This role not only launched his career, but also broke the mold of typical leading men at the time. According to the New York Times, Walker's rugged good looks and imposing physique made him an instant heartthrob. In 1963, Walker starred in the film The Great Escape, which became a significant turning point in his career. His performance as the character Colk was highly praised, with Variety noting, Walker handles his role with an easygoing charm that makes him a standout. Another breakthrough moment for Walker was his role in the 1971 film The Dirty Dozen. His performance as Samson Posey was widely recognized, with the Los Angeles Times stating, Walker's portrayal of the stoic and powerful Samson Posey is a testament to his acting prowess. Throughout his career, Walker has been known for his strong and silent demeanor, which has made him a beloved figure in the industry. As director Sam Pekinpo once said, Clint Walker is the real deal. He's a man's man and a true professional. Walker's contributions to the world of entertainment have left an indelible mark, and his breakthrough moments have solidified his place as a Hollywood icon. His work continues to resonate with audiences, and his legacy will undoubtedly endure for generations to come. Clint Walker, known for his roles in Western films, began his acting career in the 1950s. Initially, he played rugged and stoic characters, reflecting the typical leading men of the time. However, as the film industry evolved, so did Walker's acting style. In the 1960s, with the rise of anti-heroes in westerns, Walker adapted his image to play more complex characters. He showed a greater range of emotions and demonstrated a more nuanced acting style. This evolution was evident in his performance in the 1967 film The Dirty Dozen, where he played a more morally ambiguous character. 
By the 1970s, the film industry had changed significantly with the rise of new genres and the decline of the Western. Walker, however, continued to adapt. He appeared in various genres, including action, drama, and even comedy. His ability to adapt to changing trends and demonstrate a more versatile acting style kept him relevant in the industry. In the 1980s and 1990s, Walker continued to act, often in supporting roles. His experience and adaptability allowed him to fit into various roles and contribute to the success of the films he appeared in. Despite the changing trends in the film industry, Walker's career endured, a testament to his ability to evolve and adapt as an actor. Clint Walker, an accomplished actor, is known for his unique approach to his work. He values staying true to himself and his beliefs, which is reflected in the characters he portrays. Walker is selective about the roles he takes on, ensuring they align with his personal values and worldview. Walker's artistic process begins with a deep understanding of the character he is to play. He spends time researching and analyzing the character's background, motivations, and personality. This enables him to fully embody the character and deliver a genuine performance. One of the key elements of Walker's style is his ability to bring a sense of authenticity to his roles. He achieves this by drawing on his own life experiences and incorporating them into his characters. This gives his performances a depth and realism that resonates with audiences. Another unique aspect of Walker's approach is his focus on physicality. He believes that a character's movements and body language can reveal a lot about their personality and motivations. As a result, he pays close attention to every detail of his physical performance, from posture and gait to facial expressions and gestures. Walker's work is also influenced by his Western upbringing. Growing up in a small town in the American West has given him a deep appreciation for the region's history, culture, and values. This is reflected in many of his roles, where he often portrays rugged, independent characters who embody the spirit of the West. Overall, Clint Walker's unique artistic vision and process are characterized by his commitment to authenticity, his focus on physicality, and his appreciation for the American West. These elements come together to create a style that is both distinctive and compelling, and which has earned him a place as one of Hollywood's most respected actors. Clint Walker, best known for his role as Cheyenne Bodie in the TV series Cheyenne, did not go shirtless in every episode as is often believed. In fact, he only appeared bare-chested in 25 out of the 107 episodes. Specifically, he went without his shirt in six episodes of season one, six episodes of season two, seven episodes of season three, four episodes of season four, and two episodes of season six. In addition to his acting career, Walker also pursued music. In 1959, he recorded an album of inspirational songs, showcasing his talents beyond acting. In the Cheyenne episode, The Durango Brothers, viewers were treated to a glimpse of Walker's singing abilities, revealing a nice baritone voice. Walker later portrayed Whistling Jack Killeen in the film The White Buffalo, which starred Charles Bronson as Wild Bill Hickok. Interestingly, the character played by Walker in The White Buffalo shares a connection with his previous role in Cheyenne, as both characters are named after the same city. Clint Walker, a towering figure in the film industry, is best known for his role as Cheyenne Bodie in the TV series Cheyenne during the 1950s and 60s. His impact on the Western genre and the industry as a whole is still felt today. Walker's imposing physical presence at six feet six inches tall set him apart from many of his contemporaries. This, combined with his deep voice and rugged good looks, made him a natural fit for Western roles. He brought a sense of authenticity to his characters, often playing strong, silent types with a deep sense of honor. According to film historian Bob McCann, Clint Walker was a trailblazer. He proved that you didn't have to be a traditional leading man to be a star. His physicality and charisma were undeniable, and he brought a new kind of masculinity to the screen. Walker's influence can be seen in the work of many modern actors, including Jason Momoa and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Both men credit Walker as an inspiration, citing his powerful screen presence and authenticity as key factors in their own careers. In addition to his work on screen, Walker was also known for his advocacy for actors' rights. He was a founding member of the Screen Actors Guild and worked tirelessly to ensure that actors were fairly compensated for their work. Director Taylor Sheridan notes, Clint Walker was a true pioneer 
not just in terms of his on-screen work, but also in his advocacy for actors. He understood the importance of standing up for what was right, and his legacy continues to inspire actors and filmmakers today. In conclusion, Clint Walker's contribution to the film industry is significant and enduring. His impact on the Western genre, his influence on modern actors, and his advocacy for actors' rights have left a lasting mark on the industry. His legacy is a testament to his talent, his determination, and his commitment to his craft. Clint Walker, known for his role in the TV show Cheyenne, enjoys meeting people and signing autographs at various events. His favorite gathering is the Western Legends Film Festival, held annually in Kanab, Utah, where he was honored in 2004 for his work in Fort Dobbs. In 2012, Walker attended the Memphis Film Festival's A Gathering of Guns for a TV Western Reunion. He is often associated with his horse, Brandy, a 16-hand steed with a white spot on its right rump. Brandy was given to Walker after the first few episodes of Cheyenne and was also used in Warner Brothers movies. Clint Walker, the beloved actor known for his roles in Western films and television shows, had a rich and fulfilling life outside of the spotlight. He was a family man who cherished his time with his wife and children. Walker was also an outdoors enthusiast who enjoyed hunting, fishing, and horseback riding. These interests often found their way into his work as he frequently played rugged, outdoorsy characters. One of Walker's most notable roles was as Cheyenne Bodie in the television series Cheyenne, which aired from 1955 to 1963. The show was set in the American West, and Walker's character was a former Confederate soldier who became a drifter and hired gun. The show's western setting allowed Walker to showcase his love for the outdoors and his physical prowess. Walker was also known for his philanthropic efforts. He was a longtime supporter of the Motion Picture and Television Fund, an organization that provides financial assistance and health care services to members of the entertainment industry. Walker was also involved in various environmental causes and was a vocal advocate for the protection of wildlife and natural resources. In addition to his acting and philanthropic work, Walker was a talented musician. He played the guitar and sang, and even released an album of country and western songs in 1958. His love for music was yet another way that he connected with his fans and shared his passions with the world. Overall, Clint Walker was a man of many talents and interests, and he brought all of them to bear in his work and his personal life. He will be remembered not only for his contributions to the world of entertainment, but also for his dedication to his family, his love of the outdoors, and his commitment to making the world a better place. Clint Walker, known for his role in Cheyenne, had an unusual experience while visiting Buckingham Palace during the filming of The Dirty Dozen. Despite the famously stern guards, one asked Walker for an autograph as he turned to leave. Walker's daughter, Valerie Jean, was born in 1950 and became a commercial airline pilot. In The Dirty Dozen, the cast, including Walker, enjoyed their time in swinging London while Lee Marvin would take off on his motorcycle. And Send Me No Flowers, Walker's character, Bert, has a scene where he struggles to exit a Jaguar, similar to Rock Hudson's character in Pillow Talk trying to get out of a 1955 MGTF 1E5 Roadster. Despite their height differences, both actors successfully executed the scene. Clint Walker left a significant mark on the acting industry, particularly in Western films. His towering presence and tough guy image made him a beloved figure in the genre. Despite facing challenges, such as being an atypical leading man due to his height, Walker persevered and became a successful actor. For those aspiring to follow in his footsteps, Walker would likely advise them to stay true to themselves and not let any obstacles deter them from pursuing their dreams. He might also encourage them to continuously hone their craft and be open to learning from others in the industry. In terms of future contributions, it's important for aspiring professionals to bring fresh perspectives and ideas to the table. This can be achieved by staying informed about current trends and issues within their field, as well as being open to collaboration and innovation. Overall, Walker's legacy serves as a reminder that success in the acting industry often requires determination, hard work, and a willingness to adapt to new challenges. By following in his footsteps and building upon his foundation, aspiring professionals can make meaningful contributions to the industry and continue to captivate audiences for generations to come. In 1971, Clint Walker faced a near-death experience while skiing at Mammoth Mountain, California. 
a ski pole accidentally pierced his heart, but his strength and resilience led to a remarkable recovery. Just two months later, he was back on set, filming in Spain. Walker shared the screen with George Kennedy, Ernest Borgnine, and Jim Brown in the 1967 film The Dirty Dozen. Later, in 1977, he starred alongside David Roya in The White Buffalo. Interestingly, David Roya had also worked in Dino De Laurentiis' King Kong. In Small Soldiers, Clint Walker took on the role of Nick Nitro, contributing to a diverse and impressive filmography. His career has been marked by notable collaborations and a determination to overcome challenges, making him a respected figure in the industry. Clint Walker, a man of few words but undeniable presence, made his mark on the entertainment industry as a respected actor. Born in 1927, he grew up during challenging times, which only fueled his determination to succeed. After serving in the Merchant Marine, he decided to try his luck in Hollywood. Rejection was a common occurrence for Walker, but he never let it deter him. Eventually, he landed the lead role in the popular TV series Cheyenne, which catapulted him to stardom. With his towering height and rugged good looks, he became an instant heartthrob and a symbol of the American West. Walker's career spanned over four decades, and he appeared in numerous films and TV shows, always leaving a lasting impression. Despite facing numerous obstacles, he remained passionate about his craft and continued to innovate, never shying away from taking on new challenges. Walker's impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. He proved that with hard work, determination, and a little bit of luck, anyone can achieve their dreams. His legacy serves as a reminder that creativity and perseverance can lead to greatness, inspiring future generations to pursue their passions and make their mark on the world. Clint Walker, known for his role as Cheyenne Bodie in the TV show Cheyenne, often took on temporary law enforcement positions in the series. Interestingly, Walker's real-life experience includes working as a deputy sheriff before becoming an actor. In the epic film The Ten Commandments, Walker portrayed the Sardinian captain. Initially, several actors were considered for the role of Joshua, including Walker. When Wilder, who was originally cast, declined the part, Walker stepped in. Walker was known for his memorable on-screen fistfights with the formidable Leo Gordon. Few actors, including Gordon, possess the size and toughness to make such fights appear authentic. Let's take a moment to talk about the talented actor Clint Walker. Known for his work in westerns, Walker left a lasting impact on the film industry. With his towering height and striking presence, he brought to life characters that were both strong and memorable. If you're a fan of Walker's work, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. What was your favorite performance of his? How did he inspire you? Share your memories and stories with us. And if you haven't already, be sure to like and share this post with your friends and family. Let's celebrate the creative spirits who have shaped entertainment and continue to inspire us today. Don't forget to subscribe for more content celebrating the legends of film and television. Together, let's keep their memories and contributions alive for generations to come.